now you can see the same thing you can see on the phone and then also see on the PC screen anywhere in the world. There are many friends that requested me to make another video on the CCTV installation connection, how you can install your CCTV, connect to the DVR and then how you can uh, do the internet connection or configure your IP address or how you can uh, set up your DVR to your computer or you can watch uh, anywhere in the world using the phone, your CCTV, uh, all everything you can watch your CCTVs or monitor your CCTVs through your phone or a PC or any device you have you can use anywhere in the world to monitor your CCTVs and then control all everything uh, through internet. So you have to watch completely so you can easily learn how you can configure your DVR to internet and then how you can get the IP address or serial number of DVR that you can use anywhere in the world and then you can monitor your CCTV. So before we continue, if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, press the bell icon for the new updates. So let's begin to our topic and then see how we can do all the CCTV connections. So here are the connection first. This one is the all CCTV inputs. So you can see here the video in. This one is 8 camera DVR. This one all 8 camera input. And then this one is the AV output so this one is the audio and then this one is the video for the RCA jack and then here is the VG output here is the HDMI output and then here is uh, all the audio parts output and then we link our DVR to internet this one is the Ethernet connection and then this one for the mouse and keyboard if we use and then this one is the uh, supporting output DC voltage if you have PTZ camera you can get here the output and then this one is the power source input so we do all the connection first and then after that we config in our monitor so we link first the device to the monitor and then after that we will link our CCTVs. So first thing we take the output HDMI or VGA anything you want to use because we config first this device after that we can easily uh, connect our CCTVs to DVR. So I put the internet connection output source HDMI and then use the power source the PS2 mouse to link my DVR to on our DVR now we check in the monitor to get display so we right click the mouse and then click the main menu and then Normally this uh, China device don't have any password admin admin if you have any password you Can add your password to open so I don't have any password. I just click ok Now click the information and then click the version Now this one is the information of our DVR so you can see here the record channel is 8, extra channel is 0, alarm in is 0, alarm output is 0, system uh, this one and then build date and then make address and then serial number. The most important thing is serial number. You have to note out this serial number in paper or you capture uh, from your phone to make sure this remember this serial number because in future we have to use this serial number to connect our DVR to the phone and then uh, other devices and then here the bottom you can see the net status is probing DNS 
and then net status code is zero so our net is not connected with our dvr so first of all we have to connect our internet to our device so i already connected the cable the problem is i didn't connect yet in the modem so i connect the modem and then check again now i already connected with the internet you can see the net status is connected and then net status code is here so mo most important is you uh, write down the serial number after that for example if i go network you can see here the ip address dhcp enabled if if you cannot get the net status connected you have to click the dhcp enable so you can get the uh, internet in your device so you have to click this one if you want to change your ip address you can uh, simply change here the your ip address so i click ok i just remain the same setup and then media port also i remain same http port also i remain same so that is the main setup in the dvr so save your all settings after install your cctvs after that you have to link your cctvs to the dvr so i already installed my cctv i just link with my dvr and then after that we will continue to our phone settings how we get the display on our phone and then how we get the display on our pc laptop or any macbook or whatever you want to where you want to get your display so all the settings we will see in the next steps so we connect already our cctvs now we are on the pc first so if you are in the pc you type in your search bar xmi for pc and then you can see the official link xmi for pc on the top click that one and then here you can download for the windows and then make os software so i am here currently using the windows so i click the windows I already downloaded and installed in my PC. Now I click to open and then click yes. And then you have to log in your username. So I just click login admin admin. Then here you can see the live view device manager playback setting recording setting logging all the settings you can see here it will automatically detect from your not network if you are in the same network if you are not in the same network you have to click the device configuration and then you have to enter your serial number or ip address to connect your cctv but in my case i am already in the same network so it automatically detect my uh, ip address and then automatic config so i just click the live view and then select the number one camera i select here icon and then double click on the camera one and then camera two i select the number two I camera 3 so now our all the camera is working perfectly in the PC now the next step is on the phone now on the phone you have to open the Google Play Store and then type there X M I and then download and install in your phone so I already installed in my phone I just click open once i open you can see here the refreshing the list i already also created my account if you haven't create account in the xmi you have to click that on the top plus icon and then you have to click the device name and then you have to enter your serial number here to log in your device so you have to write down here the serial number to get access on your CCTV's camera. So you have to enter here the device name and then here you can enter the serial number of the DVR. 
and then click OK to get access on your cameras. For example, I already uh, had access on my camera, so I click OK, and then you can see here that all the eight cameras is appear here. But I already installed only four cameras, so I click the Start Preview and then you can see here the live view of our cctvs now you can see the same thing you can see on the phone and then also see on the pc screen anywhere in the world if you have any question or you haven't understand anything you have to comment below or you have to freely ask me anything you want if you haven't understand so hope this video is going to helpful for you if you like this video don't forget thumbs up please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so let's see you in the next video with the new tips new tricks thank you